So 4.3 beta 1 of Red Dot has just been released. Literally, today it was and today I am posting this video for you. So we are going to be actually downloading this version and taking a look at uh, the actual engine, okay? Because, for example, previously uh, we used to have the Red Dot 4.4 uh, alpha 1 okay which was the, the first version of the engine and now well, we have this one uh, 4.3 beta 1 as you can see super recent just 13 hours ago you can take a look at the uh, bug fixes uh, and the improvements so you can pause the video right now and now also for a lot of you that have been asking on term um, about export templates here they are they also explain how this is done um well then here in the assets we see the different um, versions of the engine and for example here we have the different export templates that I'm going to download uh, well actually I, I just wanted to try that out and well um, for example here we'll download a 4.3 beta 1 Windows uh, 64 and uh, I will just extract uh, this zip file over here using WinRAR in my case and this will give me two files. Uh, this one is the console, as you can read over here, and this one is the actual executable of uh, Red Dot, okay? Uh, so I'm going to open this up. And by the way, there are multiple ways in which you can actually access to, to download this. One of it is going to the GitHub, okay, of, of Red Dot, basically, and here, Red Dot Engine. And here on the right hand, Releases. And well, here you are in the same page. Uh, or if not, you can go to redotengine.org and um, you can press here download, download latest and uh, you will have downloading the, the exact same um, zip file that uh, we saw a second ago. So uh, quite similarly to the previous version, uh, we have this uh, red theme. Some of you in previous videos um, and uh, w uh, actually agreed with me in terms of um, that maybe it was a little bit uh, maybe not the best color to choose a red color and it is like a little bit maybe um, too bright okay for for a theme of the engine okay it could be so maybe if this was like maybe a little bit more orange as the actual logo or, or something like that maybe it could be um, even better we also have uh, this icon over here of red dot that not only is it like with the actual logo um, but also with the with the red dot word over there, so that that also looks quite good. We have the the asset library, but we have to go online in order to see it. Um, and well, until now, it is the exact same thing as uh, what we would have in Godot. And actually, it says here updates available four point three the three. But I think of course this will um, lead us to the official like to Godot itself, not red dot. Uh, but well, this is the latest release that we have at least for Red Dot right now. Uh, so the buttons and mostly everything is quite similar. Uh, I, I also want to uh, open up Go Dot. I'm using the, the latest stable version. And the thing with Red Dot is that from here, the UI, you can see that it is a little bit smaller, it seems by default. Or, well, maybe this is because of the display scale that I have over here. Yes, indeed. So I will put this in 125 and I will restart this. Okay, and here it is. I will, if you see them like this, it is mostly the exact same thing. I will, for example, download this, uh, sorry, remove these missing projects over there. And as you can see, if I do this, they are the exact same thing besides, for example, here, the change in the logo and of course the, the theme itself. So let's basically uh, go to create new project and I will create here a brand new project in this case on the download. Once again here, I believe that the theme, maybe it's it's not the best one or that it could actually be improved um, because I do think that with just too too much uh, red over here, it is a little bit complicated to, to read and to actually, uh, maybe it actually in the long term make you hurt, uh, hurt your, your eyes. So maybe it is not the best choice, but anyway, maybe they do adjust these colors in the future. And I will also show you how you would be able to adjust these colors. Once again, here we have uh, another icon of Red Dot. And well, here we are inside of the engine. Uh, something new that they brought up is if we go here to the three dots in the 3D environment, we now see these horizon colors. So for example, I will put my horizon in green, my sky in blue, and then my ground on, let's say, some kind of pink color or, or something like that, okay? So there you see the, the, 
the actual horizon color that is some kind of uh, green okay but this was uh, something that was also released in the previous version okay this isn't something new but well anyway i just wanted to mention that um if you haven't seen it um also another difference that we see with uh, godot let me super quickly create here uh, in the downloads a brand new project in this case i will just call it godot Okay, so we can see the differences between the two at the exact same time. As you can see in loading times and, and all that, it is quite similar. You can check indeed how we're here. We don't have that kind of sky of um, horizon color, it was called. Yes, we don't have that. Um, well, well the, the interface itself is quite similar until now. Um, and But I think that in 2D, the red dot is a little bit darker just to make colors match with the with the red okay and the general ui is darker by the way uh but if you wanted to adjust this theme it is super simple if you go to editor and then editor settings uh here we should be able to see theme and here we see that the default preset is default okay and it has this accent color and base color but as you can see it is this color that i don't particularly really like we can maybe darken it a little bit so yeah, maybe like that, maybe like that, it is a little bit better, but I don't think the changes were actually applied, but yeah, let me make this a little bit like this. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, maybe something like this. Well, maybe here right now it is literally too dark. So, well, you, you get the thing, right? That you can uh, modify the theme. You can modify these colors. Um, and also another thing that is quite interesting, the fact that here in the presets, uh, for example, you are able to select um, Godot or you were able to select, you have now only Godot 2, previously used to have also Godot because Godot, the Godot 2 theme, I think it is, uh, yes, it is, uh, it is similar, but it's not the same thing. But previously here they used to have a uh, Godot, now they don't. Um, but you can still get the, the exact same Godot color if you go to in Godot to editor, editor settings, theme, and here you just copy and paste these values. Once again, here are the new stuff, okay? But well, to actually show them in a project, it could actually be super time consuming. And if you actually are interested in these features, you can try them on your own, okay? Because this is not something like super general for every single developer, something that we can go super quick here and demonstrate. It is actually that I actually um, need some kinds of project made before. But well, if I did that, I wouldn't have enough time to post this video right today when the version was released. I think that it's much better that, uh, to have the information right now that the version is out. And if, and if you are actually interested in these changes, then you can try them on your own once that you know that there is a new version. But what we can do, if you are interested, is just navigating a little bit these menus. Um, so, for example, I will add here a node 2D. Once again, I don't really like this this red color um, for for just so many reasons. <laughs> but well, I think it's a matter of preference, of course. And well, for example, inside of this node 2D, let's add an area 2D, and I will also add a collision shape, and finally a sprite. So I will, for example, load in the red dot icon over there. And I would be able to, uh, let's use for example, a circle that is the easiest one to use. And I will just do it right here. I'm going to save this scene. And for example, here I will have my new area, okay? I'm going to play this scene. And as you can see, quite um, quickly, everything uh, was run. So indeed, it is quite, quite fast. So this was all that I have to mention. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel to always keep up with the latest news about Red Dot. So, see you in the next one and bye bye.